Hola chicos, Harry here from Chat Spanish, teaching you useful Spanish things. This one's more so for me actually, these three words. I always get confused between them and they're related to size, as we're going to see. Ancho, ancha. Ancho, masculine. Ancha, feminine. So it's an adjective. And this word means wide or broad. So, un ejemplo. El sendero es ancho. El sendero, that's the word for path. El sendero es ancho. The path is wide. So, ancho, ancha means wide. You could also use it as a noun. El ancho, the width. Por ejemplo, el sendero tiene un ancho de seis metros. The path has a width of six meters. So, ancho, adjective means wide. Noun means width. Grueso o gruesa means thick. Una rebanada, gruesa de pizza. A thick slice of pizza. Rebanada, it's a great word, isn't it? Rebanada. That means slice, so una rebanada, gruesa. Adjective here, referring to the slice, de pizza. Gruesa is thick, a thick slice of pizza. And similar to ancho, ancha, grueso is a noun meaning thickness. So, it can be an adjective thick or a noun thickness. And then finally, estrecho, estrecha. Now, this is purely an adjective. And this, you, you see the stretch here. Okay, you kind of think it's wide. Actually, it's not. It's a little bit of a false friend, in my opinion. It means narrow or tight. So, using the path again, el sendero es muy estrecho. The path is very narrow. It's quite a fun one to say that. So stretch, mm, no, it's narrow. So ancho, ancha, wide, grueso, gruesa, thick, estrecho is narrow. Estrecha as well, feminine form. So those three words, hope you found those useful. It's reminded me how to distinguish between them. Please do drop a comment below if you want me to cover anything specifically. Like this video and please, above all, subscribe. It means a lot to me. I've linked a very useful video below as well referring to cien and ciento, which both mean 100, but there is a slight difference when you use them. So I hope you find that useful. Nos vemos, chicos. Best of luck with the Spanish. Ciao.